Hey everybody, how you doing? AmpReparGuy.com. It's been a while before since I've uh, made a video. I've been, you know, like I always say, very busy here. So here we have a Drake L4B. It's all set. Uh, I didn't bother making a video beforehand. Um, so this thing had a bad plate tune capacitor. It was like totally shot. I tried cleaning it up. It just I cleaned it up with a file and coated it and everything. And then I high potted it. I just could not get it to where I wanted it. So. Luckily, someone I know had one. It wasn't cheap, but I got one. Put that in. Uh, plate blocker, one of the plate blockers was damaged, so I replaced both. I ended up putting a series glitch resistor in down there. And uh, that cap at the base of the plate choke was also damaged, so I replaced that. These are my chimneys for testing. Brand new tubes, Penta Laboratories. Awesome company, just awesome. Uh, great product have not had a problem yet with any of their tubes their customer service is like the best I've ever experienced So went ahead and replaced the meter lamps put in protection diodes for the meters grounded the grids with straps Someone already had done uh, the soft start to this and soft key and Changed the filter caps and the power supply so all that stuff is all set just have to tighten this knob real quick I already tested it full output 80 through 10 so that's all set, and uh, I bend the cover back in the bottom where a foot broke, put new feet on, and that's all set. So uh, also oiled the motor, very important, when you ship one of these, you want to put a piece of cardboard over the opening, because if that impeller breaks, not going to find another one, and this whole blower would have to be replaced, and that's a pain in the butt. I cleaned the rotary switches, all the rotary switches, input, output, and the multimeter. Um, so. That's about it. Oh, check the SO239 connectors. Don't ever try to operate this with the cover off, top or bottom, because it has high voltage interlocks. You put a direct short on the plate supply. Very important. Plus, it's extremely dangerous. So, uh, I got another heath kit here, SB220. I have another one uh, over there. I'm going to put it back on the bench when this is gone, and another amp down on the floor. But, so, that's that. Thanks for watching. If you have any amplifiers you need repaired, please give me a ring. I go through them as fast as I can. Once I get the parts, usually about two weeks. You know, it takes about a week to get the parts. I go through, I usually fix, well, usually one, at least one amp a day once I have the parts. So it's kind of like a, a repair line, kind of like an assembly line. So, okay, well, uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.